guys, and welcome back to the Sorry Girls. My name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And today, well, you guys know that we do makeovers. We love a good makeover. And today we have one that's very close to the heart because we pride ourselves on being a business that loves aesthetics. Mm. But we found out oh. that recently, <laughs> one of our employees was living with a so far bathroom you model. Oh, Claire showed us pictures. Claire, our assistant, you know her, showed us pictures of her bathroom. This bathroom is in serious need of some help. So as soon as we saw us, we were like, Claire, let us, please let us do a makeover on your space. Claire said, and I quote, I forgot it was a room. It was just there. <laughs> like, she uses it every day, but she forgot it existed because she blocks it from her memory. So today we're gonna take you on the journey of us making over Claire's bathroom. So before we get started with this makeover, I just wanted to shout out real quickly that today's video is sponsored by Great Stuff Insulating Foam Sealant. Stay tuned to see how we use it in the makeover. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> we're here at Claire's place and we haven't seen the bathroom IRL yet. So we're gonna go in and see what we're getting ourselves into. Okay, okay, okay. Onwards. <sighs> oh. So as you can see, it's very green. So we're gonna do something about it. Okay, so we know what we would do, but like, okay. what do you want us to do? You mean you wanna change things? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to change things. <laughs> yeah, I like grays, I like like light wood. It was actually a jungle theme. That's kind of what's going on here. I definitely want more storage. There's no space for anything. I think just simplifying everything will be really good there's for you. There's just a lot going there's, on. There's so much to look at. Maybe before we head back to the office, we can get your help clearing some stuff out. <laughs> Yay! I mean, the good news is you'll be in Scotland for the next week, so you don't have to worry about any of yeah, this. Yeah, literally, I was checking a watch. I'm about to catch a flight. Woo! Oh no, it's stuck. Why is it on there like that? There are little bubbles. <laughs> Bye Claire. Bye. Have fun in Scotland. When we see you next, we'll have a new bathroom. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is kind of a really rough floor plan of our space to know how much space we have. Bathtub, vanity, toilet. That's it. Everything else, she has like storage that I think we want to get rid of. I'm down for storage, I'm just not down for that storage. Yeah. So I was almost thinking like open shelving. Like up, up on the wall. wall. Yeah. yeah. And then baskets and stuff. Get like terracotta baskets. And I think like mix decor with practical items. Okay, seeing a theme here. Mm -hmm. Theme is light grays. Light wood. I'm worried about doing stuff that's too white just because covering that green could be really difficult. Her tile is a very off-white, and when you compare it to the white baseboards, it looks a little dirty, even though it's not. It's just the color of the white. I know, it's hard, because that floor is like a pattern. Yeah. And it's a, kind of a cool pattern, so I want to work with it, not against it, mm -hmm. but it's just kind of like, what do you do? I think you keep the baseboards like as if it's meant to be white, but it's just the right color white. Okay. And then you do the walls beigey gray instead of a cool tone gray, like a very warm tone gray. What even is that? Grayish. That's the new thing. <laughs> Here's a really good example of a grayish palette. So maybe you do the baseboards in like this color, like a lighter light, and then you do the walls in like one of these. Okay, I'm down for this. And then what about our vanity? What would be really nice is like an edgeless mirror. You know, like the ones that are just glass. That could be really pretty. Do we do real plants or fake plants? I think fake. I don't know, she doesn't have a lot of lighting. There's one little window. Okay, I think we have a solid plan in action. Let me get that, it's a mini Claire. Aww. <laughs> Sonoma. I don't know why, 100% linen, but like when things are like brands you've heard of at the thrift store, it feels better. <laughs> so we wanted to get one real plant for Claire's bathroom because she has that window that I think a plant could actually survive in. And we didn't know what to get her, and then we saw this and it's the perfect homage to her ivy-themed bathroom of the past to get her some real ivy. <laughs> 
I think her and her mom are gonna love this so much. Home Depot check, thrift store check. Probably going to get some home decor next. Yes. How's that budget looking? What budget? Okay, so today's plan is to just keep shopping for Claire's space. Um, I am here at her house and I'm just gonna go in and I brought our paint sample book to figure out what color paint we think we wanna paint. Becky went to go pick up lumber and pick up a mirror that we found um, like secondhand posted online. I think it's a really good deal and it's gonna look so good in the space. And then I think she's also stopping by to get some more home decor. It's gonna be good. Oh my God, a Robin. It's spring. First Robin of the season. Robin. Two Robins. Na 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 I brought this tablecloth we found that we're gonna probably be using as a shower curtain. Just wanna see how it looks with everything. I mean, yeah. I mean, these tones are quite similar, so that's absolutely perfect. I know that Claire wanted more grayish, but the floor is just so like warm tone and not gray at all. I feel like a gray in here is just gonna be like gray and then like warm toned beige floors. So I'm like trying not to make it too beige, but I think that that's just gonna look the best in the room. I was looking at things like this khaki, but again, you can kind of just tell it looks very gray. So I think we're gonna go with something like rattan here. So like, I don't know, I feel like this one looks more beige than this one. This one is maybe more grayish. Hey guys, I am out shopping now for Claire's bathroom and I'm running into a problem that we haven't experienced I don't know how ever, but this is the first room that I'm actively trying to avoid buying white for because her tile is so creamy that anything that's a true white is gonna make it look yellow, which we don't want at all. We want it to look like a nice beige toned room instead of like a dirty white. So trying to find the right beige or the right cream is difficult. So I'm looking at towels which this is nice, or I could go this, because this is a beige, it's not a white. Also want to do some pops of color, but it's gotta be like a consistent blue, so this is difficult. Kelsey's got the paint swatches back at the office, so I think I'm gonna go with these two options for beiges and this blue, and we'll bring it back, decide we can return anything that we don't end up using. Back from shopping and the mood for Claire's new bathroom is coming together really well. This is the color we're going with. It's called rattan, so it's like a very creamy, creamy, beigey white. We have this one thing that's this really, really, really cute hanging fake air plant way in her bathroom. And we thrifted another container for another plant. So I'm gonna try and replicate this macrame effect so we can have two similar looking hanging plants for her bathroom. After all of that, this is how my DIY version came out, and this was the original one that we were trying to get a similar vibe, and I think it's pretty good. It's pretty similar, so we're gonna put our ivy plant that we got in this one, and then that's gonna go in her bathroom as well. When we get there tomorrow, although it's probably not going up tomorrow, we got a lot of painting to do first for those green walls, oh my goodness. Okay, so we're back in her bathroom, and I'm really excited to get this makeover actually started in this space because I'm just excited about the changes we're gonna make. So the first thing I would love to do is get to painting because I wanna get rid of this green. But before we do any of that, Claire actually has this hole in her ceiling where a pipe exits that's not ideal. So our very first step actually is going to be to fill this hole that Claire has in her ceiling using Great Stuff Insulating Foam Sealant. Not only is it actually gonna fix this hole in the ceiling, it's gonna keep out air and moisture, which helps to keep her home insulated and ideally helps to lower her energy bills. And before I get started using great stuff, I'm actually going to wear protective eyeglasses, cover my skin with this sweater, and put on gloves. All right, so here's how I'm gonna do this. My first step is going to be wiping down the area with my microfiber cloth. So my next step is gonna be shaking the can for at least 60 seconds. I'm making sure to do this with the lid still on. So next up, I'm taking the smart dispenser and twisting it on. 
So this is a new smart dispenser that's super easy to use. It gives you greater control and less mess. And the smart dispenser is actually reusable for up to 30 days. Before I go ahead and actually dispense any of the product, I'm making sure to do a dry run to test it out. Okay, now I'm ready to actually do this. So I'm gonna press down on the trigger and move around the gap. If you find that your product went outside the areas you intended it to go, don't worry, you can wipe away any excess with a cloth and some acetone. Okay, next up is waiting. So I'm gonna wait 10 to 15 minutes for this to cure and be completely tack free. If you find that it's not tack free at this point, you can mist it with some water. After my 15 minutes are up, I can cut back any of the extra foam with a serrated knife. So the great thing about using this product is that the foam expanded to completely fill the gap that we had, creating a long lasting airtight water resistant seal that makes this good to go. After you're done, you can always make this look more finished by covering the sealant with a cap or painting over it, which is what we're going to do later. So before we get painting this place as well, we have to remove all the hardware, like the plate switch covers and whatnot. And we need to talk about what's going on here. These have been painted over so many times that I can barely even tell there's screws in them, but I'm going to have to get it out somehow. So wish me luck. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is what success looks like. Thank you. Oh! This bathroom used to be pink! It's finally time to get rid of this queen! So, one color is a beige beige, and the other one is more of a creamy white. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Whoa, this is going to be a big change. This might take a little while, so maybe we'll like catch up with you later. Okay, so. While Kelsey is painting that whole bathroom, I'm coming back to the office to do a couple DIYs for Claire's new bathroom. Mainly, we want to reuse a lot of the wooden pieces that were already in her bathroom, but as you can tell, they have green on them, so they need to be sanded down and resealed. Because why buy new things when sometimes the old things are in perfectly good shape, they just need a little bit of uh, cleaning up. So that's what I'm gonna do, plus a couple other things for her space, and then we'll take those all back to the bathroom later. So at the thrift store, we thrifted this amazing giant burnt orange. I think it's a tablecloth. It's really heavy linen and it's beautiful, but we want to turn it into a shower curtain since it's like the best, prettiest color. So all we need to do is add little grommets along the top, spaced out evenly like a normal shower curtain would be, and then we can hang it up with like a plastic liner on the inside. Good to go. Whoa! And done! Oh my gosh! This is like a new space. It is like a new space. I like the color. It's really bright and light. This place looks like twice the size it did when it was green. I know, Same. she's gonna flip. <laughs> it looks clean, it looks fresh. I think we're ready to start moving stuff back in. So we're back and hopefully this is our last day in this bathroom because we cannot spend any more time working on this bathroom. So there's so many things that we need to do. We need to like hang up everything that needs to be hung up. We got these shelves that I need to cut out some notches for so that they can go here where the pipes are. Cover this hole, decorate, put up shower curtains. There's a lot to do, but we'll get it done. I'm confident. Um, I guess I'm gonna start off with these shelves and we'll just, we'll get her done. As I used to say in my high school days. You're done. I went to a country school if you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> So I finished up adding the rest of the grommets at Claire's place, and now our new shower curtain is good to be hung. Oh, 
Wow, so much better. Okay, so there's some art I want to hang on this wall. This is cool because this is actually photography that Clara took. And this little mirror is actually a nod to Nikki's style selected room that we all worked on together. Check that video up below to understand what I'm talking about. I came in here being like, final touch time, but it's kind of messy. Final cleanup and final touches. I'm so excited. Let's do it. It looks great in here. She's done! Remember, Remember that time you asked if your pants were gonna clash? Remember that time you told us you had a green bathroom from the 90s? I'm sorry, I didn't tell you sooner. I'm so sorry. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm not. Yeah. Okay. Three. Oh, do I just go? Two. Yeah. One, just go. No. Do you like? <laughs> oh, it's not green it's anymore. Wow. We thought a lot about the gray, but like just like this wanted to be like warm tones because of the tile. For sure. To start going in that direction. Oh, I love the orange so much. I'm actually so into orange and little blues. Oh, and some of it's from the bathroom before. I know. I cleaned it up and brought it back for you. It's not the same ivy, right? No. It's just similar. Okay. I was like, wait, <laughs> it's a real one. Oh, it's we real. saw it and we were like, oh my god. My mom will be so happy. The ivy stayed. Oh. Her idea stayed. <laughs> Hope you guys like that makeover. I love how it turned out. This is probably one of our most dramatic makeovers ever, which is really exciting. Thank you, Claire and her mom, for having a green bathroom so that <laughs> our whatever we did looked way better. Also, thank you to Great Stuff Insulating Foam Sealant for um, you know filling some holes, helping us out with this video. We have so many other room makeovers too. If you want to check out more of the stuff we do, we can link those below in a playlist for you. Yes. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure that you give it a like. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. I only have one half of my heart. Help me out. Stop it! Okay, we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I wanted to share this DIY by Ruby in our end slate. It looks so adorable. I think it's for a little baby's nursery. It's so cute. And if you want to see your DIYs shared in our end slate, make sure you use the hashtag Squad to be featured.